single phase induction motor. We use the single phase power system more widely than three phase system for domestic purposes, commercial purposes, and some extent in industrial uses. Because the single phase system is more economical than a three phase system, and the power requirement in most of the houses, shops, offices are small, which can be easily met by a single phase system. The single phase motors are simple in construction, cheap in cost, reliable, and easy to repair and maintain. Due to all these advantages, the single phase motor finds its application in vacuum cleaners, fans, centrifugal pumps, blowers, washing machines, etc. Construction of single phase induction motor. A single phase induction motor is similar to the three phase squirrel cage induction motor except there is single phase two windings instead of one three phase winding in three phase motors mounted on the stator and the cage winding rotor is placed inside the stator which freely rotates with the help of mounted bearings on the motor shaft the construction of a single phase induction motor is similar to the construction of a three phase induction motor Similar to a three-phase induction motor, single-phase induction motor also has two main parts, stator and rotor. Stator As its name indicates, stator is a stationary part of induction motor. The stator of the single-phase induction motor has laminated stamping to reduce eddy current losses on its periphery. It has two stator windings namely, the main winding, and the auxiliary winding. These two windings are placed, in space, quadrature to each other. The slots are provided on its stamping, to carry a stator, or main winding. Stampings are made up of silicon steel, to reduce the hysteresis losses. Rotor, of single phase induction motor. The construction of the rotor, of the single phase induction motor, is similar to the squirrel cage three-phase induction motor. The rotor is cylindrical and has slots all over its periphery. The slots are not made parallel to each other but are a little bit skewed as the skewing prevents magnetic locking of stator and rotor teeth and makes the working of induction motor more smooth and quieter that is less noisy. The squirrel cage rotor consists of aluminum, brass or copper bars. These aluminum or copper bars are called rotor conductors and placed in the slots on the periphery of the rotor. The copper or aluminum rings permanently short the rotor conductors called the end rings. To provide mechanical strength, these rotor conductors are braced to the end ring and hence form a complete closed circuit resembling a cage and hence got its name as squirrel cage induction motor. As end rings permanently short the bars, the rotor electrical resistance is very small, and it is not possible to add external resistance, as the bars get permanently shorted. Note: The absence of slip ring and brushes make the construction of single phase induction motor very simple and robust. Working of single phase induction motor Single phase AC supply is given to the stator winding, that is main winding. The alternating current, flowing through the stator winding, produces magnetic flux. This flux is known as, the main flux. Now, we assume that, the rotor is rotating, and it is placed in a magnetic field, produced by the stator winding. According to Faraday's law, the current starts flowing in the rotor circuit, it is a close path. This current is known as, rotor current. Due to the rotor current, the flux produced around the rotor winding. This flux is known as rotor flux. There are two fluxes, main flux, which is produced by stator, and second is the rotor flux, which is produced by the rotor. Interaction between main flux, and rotor flux, the torque produced in the rotor, and it starts rotating. The stator field is alternating in nature. The speed of the stator field is the same as synchronous speed. 
The synchronous speed of the motor depends on the number of poles and supply frequency. It can represent by two revolving fields. These fields are equal in magnitude and rotating in the opposite direction. Let's say phi m is a maximum field induced in the main winding. So, this field is divided into two equal parts, and that is phi m divided by 2 and phi m divided by 2. Out of these two fields, one field, phi f, is rotating in an anti clockwise direction, and the second field, phi b, is rotating in a clockwise direction. Therefore, the resultant field, phi r, is 0. Now, consider the resultant field at different instants. When a motor starts, two fields are induced as shown. These two fields are the same magnitude and opposite direction. So, resultant flux is zero. In this condition, the stator field cannot cut by rotor field and resultant torque is zero. So, the rotor cannot rotate, but it produces humming. Now consider, after the rotation of 90 degree, both file are rotated and pointing in the same direction. Therefore, the resultant flux is a summation of both fields. Phi R equals Phi F plus Phi B. Phi R equals Phi M divided by 2 plus Phi M divided by 2, which is 0. In this condition, the resultant field is equal to the maximum field induced by the stator. Now, both fields rotate separately, and it is alternative in nature. So, both fields cut by the rotor circuit, and EMF induced in the rotor conductor. Due to this EMF, the current starts flowing, in the rotor circuit, and it induces a rotor flux. Due to the interaction, between stator flux and rotor flux, motor continues to rotate. This theory is known as, double revolving theory, or double field revolving theory. Types of single phase induction motors. The single phase induction motors are classified as split phase induction motor, shaded pole induction motor, capacitor start induction motor, capacitor start, capacitor run induction motor, and permanent capacitor induction motor. Split phase induction motor. In this type of motor, an extra winding is wounded on the same core of the stator. So, there are two windings in the stator. One winding is known as the main winding or running winding, and second winding is known as starting winding or auxiliary winding. A centrifugal switch is connected in series with the auxiliary winding. The aim of auxiliary winding is to create a phase difference between both fluxes produced by the main winding and rotor winding. So, this motor is used in low starting torque applications like a fan, blower, grinder, pumps, etc. Shaded pole induction motor. This type of motor does not require auxiliary winding. This motor has stator salient pole or projecting pole, and the rotor is the same as squirrel cage induction motor. The stator poles are constructed specially to create a rotating magnetic field. A pole of this motor is divided into two parts, shaded part and unshaded part. It can be created by cutting pole into unequal distances. The part at which shaded ring is based is known as shaded part of the pole and the remaining part is an unshaded part. It is used in applications like toy motor, fan, blower, record player, etc. Capacitor start induction motor. This type of motor is an advanced version of the split phase induction motor. The capacitor used in this motor is a dry type capacitor. This is designed to use with alternating current. But this capacitor is not used for continuous operation. In this method, also a centrifugal switch is used, which disconnects the capacitor and auxiliary winding when the motor runs at 
75-80% of synchronous speed. This motor is used in the applications, where, high starting torque is required, like, a lathe machine, compressor, drilling machines, etc. Capacitor Start Capacitor Run Induction Motor In this type of motor, two capacitors are connected, in parallel, with series, in auxiliary winding. Out of these two capacitors, one capacitor is used, only for starting, starting capacitor, and another capacitor is connected permanently with the motor, running capacitor. During running conditions, both running winding, and auxiliary winding, connected with motor. The starting torque, and efficiency of this motor, are very high. Therefore, this can be used in, the application where, high starting torque is required, like a refrigerator, air conditioner, ceiling fan, compressor, etc. Permanent Capacitor Induction Motor The low value capacitor, is connected constantly, with the auxiliary winding. Here, the capacitor has low capacitance. The capacitor is used, to increase the starting torque, but it is low, compared to the capacitor start induction motor. The power factor, and efficiency of this motor, are very high, and also it has a high starting torque, that is 80% of full load torque. This type of motor is used in, the application like, an exhaust fan, blower, heater, etc. Applications of Single Phase Induction Motors Single Phase Motors are not self-starting, and less efficient, than Three Phase Induction Motor, and available in, 0.5 horsepower, to 15 horsepower, and still, they are widely used for multiple purposes, such as, Clocks Refrigerators, Freezers and Heaters Fans, Table Fans, Ceiling Fan Exhaust fans, air coolers and water coolers. Blowers. Washing machines. Machine tools. Dryers. Typewriters, photostats, and printers. Water pumps, and submersible. Computers. Grinders. Drilling machines. Other home instrument, equipment and devices, etc.